what's up guys polish links here and we are after completing the first part of Narkizu this is Narkizu side second uh, in front of our of the outpatient reception desk on the first floor I must say I was holding back almost the whole uh, last episode of the first uh, part of this game and seriously, I was doing everything not to cry, and I'm a grown man, which is weird. But that's actually the reason why I didn't try to tell anything about the game after everything. Just said bye. And after seriously going and looking at myself uh, in the mirror, I had my whole face in tears that's true i'm serious uh, but let's go with that spread on the floor many colors of plastic tape red blue green they led the way to various departments out of those i followed the white tape walking about 30 meters on the right the shop comes into sight across from that was the smoking room on the left is the waiting room for surgical examination and if you continue to the end, there is a small elevator. I get on that and press the button for the highest floor. 7th floor. The 7th floor. Before my eyes was the nurse's station. Altogether, some nurses look this way. But once they recognize me, they, uh, their eyes turn back as if they saw no nothing. They return to their work. A high ceiling, windows that only open 50 cm. Here it was, a white, well lit sterile place. And I head towards the lounge at the end of the hall on the left. A large television, a long couch. Decorating the window sills were a number of flowers. Fitting the summer, the mini sunflowers in vases and the Gerbera daisies in flower pots were blooming colorfully. Those were all familiar things. How many years has it been since I've come here? What's different from then are my clothes, changing from sailor uniforms to pajamas. Besides that, the bracelet on my hand. From blue to white was just about the only other change. You. Turning back towards the voice that called, it was a middle aged lady, I don't know. Her pajamas and bracelet colors say she's a resident of this place. Are you visiting someone? Or a patient from another floor? Yeah. That's not it. While shaking my head, I show my own bracelet. Ah, I see. The lady replied uncomfortably. I felt the nuance behind, behind those words. And so young? What a shame. Of course, I've had similar experiences so often it was tiring. I haven't lived almost 10 years like this for nothing. It was just... I never thought to have a fellow resident of the seventh floor also turn eyes of pity towards me. By the way, which time are you on? What's this? For here, coming to the seventh floor, for an instant I had no idea what she was asking. But before, I could ask a new question. It looks like this is your first. With that, she just up and acted like he understood the situation. Well, then I'll teach you too, so listen well, okay? First, in this place called the seventh floor. Even though I hadn't replied, the lady just continued speaking. There is no fourth time. The third time you're admitted is the last. So prepare yourself. When you want to run away, head not to station A, but to station B. Don't eat anything, 
it places the last the least burden upon your family. She spoke about such things, and I was made to hear other things that would give one pause. Most likely it was something only the residents of this seventh floor. Only those who were headed towards death continued passing on. So you understand? Mm. I, I guess we are like Setsumi now, right? At that moment, once the lady finished her broad explanation somehow, I thought her complexion looked better. Phew, to tell someone young, like, young like you, it's upsetting. But this is also a rule, so don't be angry, okay? With that, the lady left the lounge. Her parting words were, you tell new people too, okay? Burning sunlight. Not click the button, man. A summer sky is seen from windows that can't open more than 15 centimeters. Today also looked like it would be a hot day. Many years since I've come to the seventh floor, the first that I've come as a resident of this place. And the rules I had been taught. In practice, they will probably pass down only among true those who reside here. But a number of them I had already known. Maybe it was since that day. The fact that I would face a day like today. I might have had a premonition of it. The rolling sound of bells. Since before I can remember, I existed with that sound. Onichan, a form of address, and essentially big sister. Okay. What's going on, Chihiro? Can't you hold breath like that? Oh look, if we don't hurry. Wait, you are dressed like that again? Something wrong? Oh, they are all crazy in black. What's wrong with that? Very warm overalls, of course they'd be dirty. I just washed those yesterday. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. My little sister gave the usual three stains a soaking look at the complaint as she complained. It was the scene of a casual, everyday exchange before the door on a Sunday. Ah, oh, never mind that. Oh, if we don't hurry, we'll be late. Oh, it's that time already. Come on, come, hurry and change. We just go to the church, okay? Yeah, I think I'd pass. Again? That's not good. Only child will already have been going regularly. At least you should go on Sundays. Silly Chihiro. Chihiro, sorry. It's exactly because it's a precious Sunday that you skip out. Again with that weak argument. Now, now, even God would overlook it on a day with such beautiful weather. The weather's got nothing to do with it. And either way, you're just going to toy with your car today. So, give my regards to one and the others. Hey, hey, Onechan. Prologue, Himeko, two best friends. In the garage next to a house, I strongly raise the shutters. Alright, shall we get started today? Perhaps because it was closed off, the garage was stiffingly hot. Immediately, I turned towards my beloved car maintenance, who just purchased just a month earlier. I, it sounded good to call it a restoration, but really, it was work to simply get it to run properly. 
first, instead of calling the chassis retro the word scrap, would fit better, such was the age and condition of the car. However, thanks to that, I've lately been spending the weekends inside this garage. Himeko! You are around? Iru? Oh, that's it. What's up? Coming all the way here. Yeah, I happen to come nearby, so I stopped over at the toilet. Hey, what's with you? You're all black. Because since yesterday I was changing the oil pan. Oil pan? Yeah, that was another big mess. But then, there aren't that many amateurs who can get this far. I don't know about anything about bread or supper or whatever. Bread is pan in Japanese. Okay. Look, this is this is the you know, Himeko, it's hard to learn problems and all. But they are going to get all black and be in the car for a while. What do you think about that? You think that's strange? I don't have to think it's strange. Well, that's fine, isn't it? You know, for me, instead of three clothes like this, you got. I like what I have here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been on this courageous, so, yeah. that's true. She replied in a worried voice. Her name was Yuka. She also lived nearby and from long ago we often spent time together. However, our interests and personalities were polar opposites. And yet, we got along for some reason. It might have been exactly because of our interests and personalities were different that we got along. If there was someone that would call the best friend, for me, she would have been it. But still, Himeko, you're quite the eccentric, aren't you? You think your first paycheck on such a beat up car? Hey, it's not a beat up car. Call it a unit. And even though it's old, this model is quite popular, you know. Oh, really? No. Because of this. All the way until winter bonus time, it's low in health. What is that? What is that? Now, now, how about you hurry up and fix it and take me for a drive? Yeah, I think by next week it's done. Great, we've decided that even next week. Wait, Sundays don't work for you, right? There's no real problem. But don't you have charge? It's fine, I haven't been going lately anyway. <laughs> From the start, I was a fake Catholic, anyways. <laughs> hey, hey, is it okay to say that? Yeah, it was just a coincidence that my house was next to a church after all. <laughs> oh my god. That's good. Prologue, he might go free. I'm home. Welcome home, you've been out quite late, Chihiro. Uh, uh, you seem a bit down. Do you come back from the seventh floor? It was the third time for someone I was in charge of. I see. Then it must be, have been hard in many ways. The seventh floor that is the hospital's hospice. Hospice, generally known as the palliative care ward. Essentially, not a typical ward, but one for patients on their final treatment options. A ward with mental care as a primary focus. For us, as Catholics, volunteering as helpers have been very natural. Every day after college, my sister would head straight to a hospital. In her, I could see myself up to a few years ago. Here, I made you some coffee. Thank you. Say, only Chan, we're not going to do it anymore. And you mean, be a helper? That might be a very interesting dialogue. So, 
I really actually you know what to expect, but still the feelings in this game are huge. I hope you enjoy it and see you in the next part on Nar of Narkizu side second. Bye.